Hello everyone, Kyle here and today we're playing some Animal Shelter Simulator. Oh goody, you just know you're in for a good time. When a game has puppies and kitties in it, there's just no way on earth I could turn this into a nightmare. Let's get started. Hello, please enter the name of your shelter. Okay then, all you can eat. Who are we rescuing today? Well, horses are just bigger versions of dogs and I don't have time for things that are too big and cats simply don't need rescue. In. If anything, we need rescuing from them. So dogs it is. Here we are in snowy old wherever the heck we are in the world. We might be a small shelter, but just look at the prime advertising space we rent across the road. I'm sure that sign alone is costing us more than this entire place will ever cost to run. It looks like we start with a warehouse where we can store dogs and cats in conveniently labelled boxes, which is just a smart use of space in my opinion. We also have a bin area, which I guess in some way it's just another place you put dogs and cats that are broken in boxes we have a dog run which is a place where dogs like to run and lastly there's the office where we can do all our admin work or live in it when we argue with our spouse so first task oh what fresh hell is this it looks like we hired a group of toddlers to decorate by having them eat crayons and throw up around the place what are you some kind of festive tree stop it i don't like trees let alone cheerful ones oh okay Okay, this is going to give me nightmares tonight. No way I stand corrected. This will. I like how the cat somewhat resembles a cat, but the dog just looks like what you'd get if you tried to microwave a puppy. I shouldn't have to say this on my channel, but please don't try to microwave a puppy. I guess this is our main office area. Doesn't really feel like a place I'd want to work in. Let me just make a few changes around the place. There we go. Now it matches my headspace. A freaking mess. Right, boot up the old PC then. Wow, well, this image just makes me feel really uncomfortable. I can't be the only person on the planet that finds this trend of admiring dog stink holes odd. Dogs hula hoops aside, we need to take in our first pet, Muffin. Muffin looks poor. Well, we shouldn't judge Muffin based on their financial standing in society. Maybe they just made some rough money choices. <laughs> Get it? Like a dog. If we get the chance to dabble in euthanasia later, I promise to test it out on myself first. Let's take in Muffin and help them to regain both their trust in people and financial security. Now we just wait for them to arrive. Oh, for someone broke, you sure can afford a pretty nice taxi. I had to walk to work. Luckily though, I live just behind the advertising sign in a box. Welcome to your new home. I'd say I was sorry about the snow, but let's face it, I'm not God yet. So, turnips hungry and a bit thirsty. You could solve your problems by eating in the snow as that's just water you can chew. But as you're a fussy wussy pants, we'll go ahead and buy some more traditional nutrients like dog food and actual water. So we'll just get a box of this budget friendly dog food. 30 bucks? What is this madness? Oh wait, seems we're either an independent state that accepts currency in the form of little dog poor coins or we're just barking mad. <laughs> Don't worry, I haven't forgot about the euthanasia. It's coming. So we just wait for a drone to drop the food and water off. Food from the sky. Thanks, Jeebus. Now we can feed and water turnip. Here you go. Drink up and eat up. Need to get you nice and fat for adoption. Deliciously fat. We'll play some sport with him as well because we don't want his muscles to get all tough, do we? So go get the boar. Now, like my dad, I'm probably not coming back. Let's do some more shopping on Amazon. I think a camera would be useful to help us take pictures of our dogs. Gone are the days I draw what I see. Oh boy, the robot bird is back. Be careful with it, it's fragile. <laughs> Thanks. I took inspiration from some of my favourite photographers, which are the people that take pictures of UFOs and the Loch Ness Monster. Now we just scan the image onto our computer, click on Little Turnip, create an ad for him, upload the photo, and write a description that will grab people's attention. Turnip may appear to be broken, but trust me, he is. Now we just pair him with a suitable owner. This person wants a dog that can't be shy. Well, Turnip hasn't spoken to me since he arrived. So 
so I guess he is shy. Unsuitable. This person wants a dog that is polite. Again, he hasn't spoken to me since he arrived. Which, if it isn't because he's shy, then it's because he's rude. Unsuitable. This person wants a dog with a large bladder. Well, Turnip hasn't toileted since he's arrived, so I guess this is as perfect as it is weird. Suitable. Now we just grab the turnip and release him into the wildfire van. What? No seatbelt? Whatever, it's your life. You're a big dog. You can make your own bad choices. I guess we should get some more dogs in then, what with this place being an animal shelter slash buffet. Let's go for another turnip and a second dog named Emergency Meal. I like things that serve multiple purposes. Oh, aren't you just a precious? You sure are cuter than that hideous turnip is. Here, you can have turnips water. No water for the hideous dog, only for the beautiful one. Here, you can have his food too. You like that, don't you? Eating, it sustains you. Let me snap some more images of you and only you, none of Turnip. Now we can take the pictures indoors and make a kind of feature war so people know he's our favourite. I suppose a border along the floor could be quite cool. Yeah, that is swell. We need more though to finish the length of the wall. Let's just move some of these things around to make the place look better. There we go. No plants. I don't have time to keep things alive. EM? Do you mind if I call you EM? Emergency meal? It's time to snap some more photos for the wall. This shouldn't take long. Oh god, that took far longer than I thought it would, but I think it's finally finished. This should give people the right impression of our establishment now. If this doesn't make you want to adopt a dog, I don't know what will. Against every fibre in my being, we now need to snap a couple more photos for our adverts. One of Turnip, which just feels wrong, and another of the beautiful, majestic emergency meal, because you can never have too many photos of him. Scan them into the computer now, and then make the ad for emergency meal enter history has a long history too long to explain so just take my word for it and turnip is really angry would get on with kids maybe probably probably not i wouldn't risk it great now we just wait for some matches ah so paul here what do you have to say i am a huge animal lover oh no you don't you deviant no dogs for you what about frank it would be great for him to have a large bladder what is there a convention of you people in town no dog for you either peter large bladder again large bladder this is more like it cannot be chicken hearted well he's a dog so he's got a dog heart so this is just perfect what about someone for emergency meal now only the finest owner for him as i love him so very much it would be great for him to have a large bladder you seem somewhat ideal to me someone who thinks of the biological makeup of an animal is only after good things Either that or he's an organ trafficker. Didn't think about that. Oh well, too late now. See you later, Turnip. Enjoy your new life as a, um, uh, a dog. Emergency meal? You be good. It's going to be hard to say goodbye to you, so I won't. Goodbye. Damn it. There I go making it hard for myself. When you give a dog up for adoption, you get some of those sought-after poor coins as donation money from people. Which is nice considering I'm so stupid that I don't charge anything for my time. Right, we need to go ahead and expand our area now. We'll just move around a few structures and lastly buy a washing room. Let's adopt another dog now. Someone found this little one in the sewer. Well, that's not where dogs belong, is it? Hmm, something feels different about this place. Hold on, why are the photos all blank? Are you trying to erase the memory of my past dog? My favourite dog? I'll never forget what's his face. Never. Right, alligator food has just arrived. Well, you certainly look like a dog that came from a sewer. I suppose as a responsible adult, I should wash you in the new washroom. But how do I put you in the washing machine? Oh, I see. I forgot to check his tag. He isn't machine washable. I guess you don't want the colours to run. Let's just do it the old fashioned way, by hand. Just apply a bit of soap to him and a bit more and a little bit more. Well, the bottle's empty now, so um, just wait here and I'll buy some more. I'll be back in a minute. Don't go anywhere. There we go. Just a few should do. 
Get them from the box. I'm back. Did you miss me? Sure you did. Now we'll just apply a few bottles of shampoo to the dog and we're done. You look cleaner already. Just wash the soap off, get it all nice and wet and dry him off with our hair dryer. Want to make sure we really dry those eyes out. Perfect. Now that you're clean, you can rest in this cage. Just try not to get dirty again, okay? You little rascal. Right, we'll just snap a photo of him now and take it in and upload it to our website. Now we'll create an ad. The animal doesn't trust people that much to put him up for adoption. What? Why on earth wouldn't you trust people now? I cleaned you. Fine, fine, fine. We'll cure his distrust of people the same way that my parents gained my trust. Cookies. Lots and lots of cookies. How's this? Do you trust me more yet? Here, have another one. Is that the right amount of trust? Here, have another one. Mmm. You gobble up all the trust, you little trust junkie. There we go. Would a distrustful dog allow me to karate chop his back? Unlikely. Now to shatter your trustful illusion by ditching you with some family with a large bladder fetish. Just need to give your ad a description that will capture the attention of the right kind of people. Almost died in a sewer, so is looking for a home to die in instead. Perfect. If that doesn't scream looking for a temporary forever home, I just don't know what will. We'll just match you with the first person we come across. I don't really have time to look into it, but they're definitely looking for a dog. So it will do. We can buy some more supplies now with all the money people have donated. Just a couple of things should do nicely. And I think a perfect place to store them can be inside the dog cages. This way it's easier for me to remember I should give them food and water. And the dogs have something to play with to cure their boredom. Everyone's a winner, except alligator food. He's going to a broken home. Good luck. Apparently our next mission is to buy a cat which I strongly oppose to. But we'll do it as we have no choice. We'll just go ahead and place it here. So, Ivan. Ivan doesn't look like a homeless cat. Well, that's lucky. We'll call him Trash because he looks like a trash cat. Just take him to his enclosure. So, Trash, what do you think of your new home? Pretty sweet, eh? Oh, you're bored? I I'm sorry to hear that, you know? I've really tried to make this place a home for you. I know what will make you unbored. It was the thing I looked forward to the most as a kid. I'll just buy you a couple of them as a little welcome gift from me to you. I'm back, trash. Yeah, 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 that's right, yeah, yeah. I brought injections. As a kid, I looked forward to getting immunised. Hold still, trash, while I stab you with this needle and fill you with fun. Don't worry, it won't hurt, and I have another. So the fun doesn't have to end here. Oh, he liked that. Look at him running around with joy. Oh, where are you going? Stop so I can inject you again. Come on, trash cat, why are you running? him from the fun. Oh, as you see, that wasn't so bad, was it? Up. Uh Oh, oh, I, I guess it was bad after all. I think it might have been candy that I liked as a kid. No, no, it was definitely injections. Congratulations, you've reached the next shelter reputation level. Well, make your mind up. How am I supposed to learn and grow as a person when I have conflicting outcomes? <sighs> I guess we need another cat now. The pet's mother gave birth to three more animals. Sadly, previous owner could not handle them all. That's the problem with having small hands. I'll call him Reject. We'll get him some toys to play with. Maybe some real toys this time. Great, now I'll just place them around the cage. And there you go. A jungle made from cat scratching posts. What do you think, Reject? Dense enough for you? I've come to understand that cats need food and water just like dogs. So we'll leave them with plenty of supplies. His fun is still super low, which means he must not like the cat scratching posts. I've got another tested method of fun. So we'll implement that. A good old scritch behind the ear. Good kitty. In order to continue adopting, we now need to buy a vet clinic so that we can treat sick or injured animals. We'll just go ahead and place it in this little section here. There we go. Now we can take in Lucky, who quite frankly should have been called Unlucky. So now that Unlucky has arrived, we just take him into the clinic. Now we buy a bandage and wrap it around his poorly little paw. <sighs> there we go. He's all better now and ready to be given away. Just need to write him an ad as well. He's bad luck, so you might die if you buy him. Good luck. That ad adds an aura of mystery about him which anyone should be intrigued by. Now we'll take in yet another dog. Ah, oh, yet another sewer dog. Seems we have a sewer dog problem in this area. We'll call him Sewer Rat. And the problem has now been resolved because rats live in the sewer alongside turtles and other flushables. Right, let's take Rat to the clinic and treat him. He really isn't looking well. We need to take a 
sample of his blood for testing. The problem is it doesn't really say how much blood we should take. So I think I'll just take most of it to be on the safe side. You can never have too much blood or too little of it in your case. Don't worry, you probably won't die from this. Okay, I stand corrected. You might actually die from this. But don't worry, it's not all bad news. After getting your blood taken, you do get a special tree. Uh, uh wait, um, I'm out of treats. So I guess it is all bad news. Sorry. Unlucky is still unwell too, apparently. So this treatment thing is just not going well at all. We'll put Rat back in his cage for a bit to see how he does after losing all that blood. In the meantime, we can try and find out what ailments besides being in my care Unlucky has. So, Unlucky, we should take some of your blood. Unfortunately, I'm all out of needles. Fortunately, though, I do have an abundance of blood just lying around the place. I know it's not technically your blood, but if I gift it to you, then it is yours. So there you go. Merry Christmas. Now we need to wait for a reply from the vampire doctors. I'll buy some antibiotics to give to Unlucky. I know we haven't really understood what is wrong with him, but I figured I'd take the approach of most of the doctors in the UK and just guess. Hey, Unlucky, I've brought some. Oh, oh you don't like the needles? That's fine, that's fine. We can give it to Rat instead. Rat absolutely loves needles. I've already given him loads. Oh, here you go, Rat. Have this. Oh, wow, that actually seemed to have done something positive for him. What if we give him another injection? Oh, nice, he's been cured. Seems we just had to replace all his blood with antibiotics. Now that we've mastered this being a vet thing in a matter of minutes compared to other people's seven years of studying, we will buy a few supplies to stock up our clinic with. With these supplies, we can now perform experimental procedures on Unlucky here to see if we can find out what's wrong with him. Just take his temperature. Sorry, Unlucky, but this doesn't go in your mouth. I hope I don't accidentally stir my coffee with it again. That would be silly. Now we'll take some of his blood and we'll send that away as well so that it can be tested. While we wait for the results, let's send little Rat off to his forever home. Blood free since 08. That can be only a positive thing. And match him with the first person possible and off he goes. Goodbye little Rat. You'll be missed around here as much as you miss all that blood. Ah yes, unlucky. Where were we? Good news unlucky. I've got more medical equipment now so we can do more stuff to you. Isn't this fun? I'll just take a skin sample from you and run it through the analyzer. So what, I need to match the symbols up? That was easy. Normal, huh? Well, that's what I was afraid of. Let's take some of your spit now and test that. Normal again? Strange. Here's some eye drops. I don't know what's in them, so don't ask. Now I'll take a sample of your ear goo and analyze that. Hmm, normal as well. I'm starting to think you're just faking an illness for sympathy. Let's see what the blood people have to say. No abnormalities detected. If your pet is still unwell, we suggest you perform other tests. Well, I was going to stop because I thought it might be bordering on cruelty, but if you say so, we can take a sample of poo from the yard. There's a good chance it belongs to a dog and not a person. I stopped pooing in the yard weeks ago. Let's test this now under the microscope. Normal as well? What on earth do I do with you? I'll have to get some bigger tools like an ultrasound machine. Let's put you on the examination table. <laughs> he looks like a hot dog. I think this is how it works. Do you feel ultrasounded? I just don't know what to do. If only there was some kind of guidance. Something to point me in the right direction. Something to... Uh uh, 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 oh, 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 there's a medical chart. It clearly says what I should do. Well, I feel silly now. Put you through a lot of stuff that I just didn't need to. Well then, I'm sorry about that. Now hold still while I stab you in the stomach with this thing. Now we check it under the scope and... Ah, an infection detected. Finally, turns out you just need some vet food. That seems like a simple resolve to a rather complicated diagnosis. But I guess it was only complicated because I had no idea what I was doing. We'll laugh about this tomorrow, won't we? If you survive the night. Now, eat your medicated food. Eat it all up. And he's better. Fantastic. What's wrong, boy? Why don't you like me? I'm pretty sure I kind of saved your life just now. Here, have a cookie and forget about the past. Is that better? Great. Let's put you up for adoption now. Just have to write an advert. Almost died. Can now see the future. Special home required. There we go. He'll be gone in no time. And he 
she's gone. Goodbye, Lucky. Tell your friends about this place. Maybe it will help reduce the number of strays if they fear coming here. We'll just go ahead and buy a few supplies now and upgrade the place a little more. Just a couple of things should be good, I think. Well, I might have got a bit over the top on stocking the shelter with supplies. And now I've made a huge mess of boxes. And because I didn't like calling it a mess, I decided to also get a whole load of cats. Because now the mess has turned into a happy fun land for kitties. I also installed a gate that does this. I did it by throwing a bunch of balls on the floor and having them glitch into the gate's path. It's nice. The problem is the lag is now unplayable, so I might have to tidy up a few of the boxes. The bad news is I have to do them one by one, and it's already taken me two real life days to get all the boxes here, as the drone service is really, really slow. But given my poor mental state, I will happily delete the boxes one by one for your entertainment purposes. I'll be right back. Okay, so here you are, the boxes are gone. But I kind of got carried away with buying kitties instead. So now we have a new type of lag. This lag feels worse, but better at the same time. What is fun is you can toy with the cat's emotions by picking up scratching posts and placing them back down. They seem to swarm it like a shark around a baby whale. I've also turned my office into a place of worship. There's a group of cats that have moved in and started a cult and worship the red dot. It's nice. I'm happy that that they've found meaning in their life, something I will never achieve. The last thing I decided to build with all my money is a cat bowling game. You just use the laser and project a cat towards vases and have them knock them all down. The only problem is the cat just runs between the vases and ruins the game because he's a bad sportsman and the sole reason I will never trust cats. The lag is too much to play now even for me and apparently I've got a cat stuck in my hands and I can't put him down. He just kind of follows me around like some kind of cat ghost it's nice but also not well i hope you've enjoyed watching my midlife crisis unfold in the form of running a shelter that damages animals beyond repair as much as i've hated every minute of it if you'd like to see more of this game then perhaps we can try some horsies next time as i didn't even bother with those giant dogs in this game for now i'm going to lay amongst the cats and offer my body as nutrients to feed their ever-growing army all hail the cats until next time Toodaloo!